guys and welcome to my channel it's a girl heading so guys today i'm going to be talking about the part-time nursing hospital so i've got a lot of i've gotten a lot of a lot of requests on my inbox people asking me about the nursing hospital like if there is a part-time nursing hospital and uh i've made a lot of research and i research from my friends or from people who do the same hospital with us but in the type part-time course so and uh i've I, and I put down a lot of uh, some information, some details that I would like to share with you guys. So, and I hope it helps anyone out there who wants to go into the part time hospital. So, uh, before I start, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. And if you're new to my channel, I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy you're watching this video. And please make sure to subscribe as well. And also leave a comment after watching this video. And also, do not forget to like. And click the notification button to get a notification as soon as i release a video so guys uh, so uh the weather is nice out here and you can tell by what i'm wearing so guys uh before i continue i want to say something about the nursing the uh, part-time nursing hospital so the part-time nursing hospital is designed specifically for mothers but that does not mean that mothers cannot do it so don't misquote me when I say mothers. Mothers does not mean that uh, dads cannot do it as well. Depends on what you choose, what kind of what career path they choose. So, uh, so apart from parents who have kids, you, a single person can also do it. The fact that you are single or uh, people can you can decide to do go into the part time hospital because you want to uh, because you want you have problem with your language and you want to take things slowly. Like you don't want to take it fast. You just want to go as move at a very very low pace okay so one thing you have to know about hospital is that part-time hospital is that the part-time hospital lasts for four years four years guys and in this four years there is a there are 2100 uh theory theory hours and there are 2500 theory i mean practical hours so these are what you're going to do in the in the whole four years during the whole four years so and i believe that uh the, the, because it's four years means that you can also do it while you're caring for your kids as well so which is really impressive the next one like i already said is for mom it's not it's for moms basically for moms of a, for people who have kids that way you can also take care of your family while you are at the hospital and also you can also have time to do other things you want to do if you don't have a family so guys, next thing I'm going to talk about is about the time. The time of the lectures, lecture starts at 8.30 and ends at 2.30. 2.30 p.m. But the time of the practical, like during clinicals, clinicals start at 8 uh, instead of 6. And uh, you have to work for 8 hours. So you have to check the number of 8 hours, how many hours you have to work, which is like 3 o'clock, I mean, which is like 15 o'clock p.m., 1500 p.m. or uh or 1600 which is for like four o'clock pm so next one is about the shift work so they don't do shift work they only do morning shift and um, because the morning shift because they have kids and they have to pick up their kids from school so they have to do morning shift mostly and uh in that way it's more much more comfortable for them if you want to do shift work it's like it's, it's voluntarily you have to offer to do it if you want to do it or if you feel like you can do it if you offer it you can do it as well so the next one is that they do a total of eight nights during the whole hospital yeah like eight you have to work eight nights eight nights like in right by eight nights i mean night shifts you have to do it during the whole four years but just know that this eight this eight nights it's not don't be scared it's not going to be during the first year it might be during the second year. I'm not sure about that, but I know it's not during the second year because I'm in the regular hospital and uh, I, 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 we started, we start night shift during the second year, in our second year of the hospital. That's when we'll start the night shift. So basically during the, it's the same, the same also, I think the same should also, will also apply to the nursing, um, to the part-time hospital. So it's not going to be the first year or the second year. It might be during the third year or thereabouts. So don't expect that you're going to start doing night shifts immediately. No, it doesn't. It's, it's not like that. And it's going to be for eight nights, just like I said. So next thing you have to know about this hospital is that it starts in April. So uh, the fact that it starts in April doesn't mean that you have to start applying in April. No, 
so for, because it starts in April, you have to start applying like in uh, in October or something. Yeah, you have to start applying as from October, September, December. You have a time to apply January, February. So and then April it starts. And for some people, it starts. Uh, I don't know. For some hospital, it might start in March. So don't be, don't say it because yeah, because Helen said April. No, based is is based on the hospital. It depends on the hospital. But most of them will usually start at the beginning of the year, February, March, April, mostly. So so next one I'm going to talk about is the salary. <laughs> this is very interesting. This is the one I know everyone is interested in. This one everyone's going to want. What the salary look like? <laughs> So the salary during the part-time hospital for the first year is about 600 and the second year is about 750, third year is about 800 and fourth year should be about 900 or so. But the fact that I said these numbers does not mean that it is fixed, like it is like it is pinpointed. No, it depends on the, like I said, it depends on the hospital, it depends on your 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 arbeit giver, just like they usually call it, your employer. So, uh, but most of these during this four year, during this four years, the the difference is more usually like fifty fifty euros to hundred euros different within the four years. Like they get a fifty to hundred euros increase during these four years. So these numbers are called. It's not doesn't mean that everyone gets the same. It might differ in different hospitals. But just know that. This, I'm just I just I'm just trying to give you a range of numbers where you can as what you should, should expect salary you should expect during these four years. So and I think it's really nice. Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the holiday. So they get their ulab. Their ulab is uh twenty seven days, just the same as the uh the, the same as us. So twenty seven days. But the difference is that this twenty seven days will have to be during school holidays. Like school holidays means the kids' holiday when you have kids, your school. If, of course, in, if you live in Germany, you know that there is a there is a there is a fixed time during the holidays when kids go on holiday, just like in every country. So your job, your your employer makes it so easy for you that makes it makes this this hospital for for you so easy that you can also take your your time when your kids are on holiday. That way, you can spend more time with your family and with your kids. So and which I find really really interesting. Maybe I should have gone for part time hospital. Yay! So the last part of the list is about the working hours uh, on weekends. So uh, everyone everyone who talks about nursing is afraid of working on weekends and blah 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 blah. So if you are doing a part time nursing nursing hospital, you are going to do also two weekends in a month. You are expected to do two weekends in a month and for eight hours as well. So just expect that you're gonna work for two weekends in a month, you're expected to work like two weekends in a month, which is normal for every, uh, which is normal for every shift worker. Okay, so guys, this is basically all I have to share about this, uh, about the part-time hospital. And I, I just, I hope it helped any of you. I hope it helped you out there. If you're listening to me, I, if you're watching, I hope it helped you. We were able to pick one or two things. It helped you to make the decision to know what you're going to do about it. So the next video, I'm uh, I'm going to make a video where I'm going to compare this to hospital, the one I'm doing, and this very one. So that way, anyone who wants to choose, uh, anyone who wants to choose might decide to, after watching the video, might, might just have to decide on which one. And besides, I already made a video about my hospital, how long it lasts, what to expect, what is done. So you can also watch that, but I'm still going to make an additional video, a video where I compare both hospitals at the same time. Okay. So guys, if you're still watching, please make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching up to this extent and please make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment behind. I also give this video a thumbs up. Okay. So guys, I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.